Hey gamers, welcome back to Creative Gamers. Today, I've got something super exciting for all of you who love emulating Nintendo Switch games. The Eden V3 Switch emulator just received its biggest multiplayer update yet. Now, before we begin, it's important to understand this isn't a full official release. According to the developers, their Discord server was hacked and they're currently facing a few backend issues. So what we're looking at is a temporary backup version meant primarily for testers and developers. Still, it's packed with a ton of brand new features, especially around multiplayer. Let's jump right into it. To get started, there are a few essential files you'll need. First is the Eden APK itself, then the Switch firmware file, the prod.keys, and finally, your game files in either NSP or XCI format. The setup process is similar to Yuzu, so if you've used that before, this will feel very familiar. Once Eden is installed, make sure notifications are turned on. This helps you stay updated with patches and features. Next, go ahead and install the product keys and the firmware file. After that, you'll set up your game directories so the emulator can detect your installed games. Once you land on the home screen, you'll notice a neat change. There's now a new game display feature. You can choose between carousel view, grid view, or a list view. The carousel mode in particular looks very slick and makes it easier to scroll through your games just like on a real Switch. Now let's dive into the settings because these tweaks will make a huge difference in your experience. Head over to advanced settings, then open system settings. Scroll down to limit speed and set it to 250%. This will help prevent overheating during long play sessions. Then scroll all the way down to the network section. Click on web token and generate a new token. It's a random number used by the emulator for certain online functions. After that, set your web username. This can be anything you want, just type it and save. Next up, go into graphics settings. Set the accuracy level to normal for balanced performance. Then adjust your resolution. Choose balanced, 0.75x, for decent visual quality without overloading your GPU. If you're using a low-end device, go even lower. 0.5x resolution will help avoid lag and overheat. If you're on an Adreno GPU, you can turn on force maximum clocks, but be careful, this can cause your phone to heat up fast. Make sure asynchronous shaders is enabled. It helps reduce stuttering, though it may cause minor visual glitches. Then set VSync mode to immediate to minimize input delay. Finally, scroll to the bottom and set aspect ratio to stretch to window, so your game fits the screen nicely. While you're still in advanced settings, head into device overlay settings and turn it off. This removes the on-screen debug overlay and gives you a cleaner view while game Gaming. Then go into Eden's Veil settings. If you're using a Snapdragon processor, choose Adreno or Xclipse for the shader backend. If your device runs on another chip, go with Mali. Set the VRAM usage mode to aggressive to push better performance and smoother rendering. Now let's talk about one of the coolest features, custom GPU drivers. This is available for Snapdragon devices only. Go back to the main settings and tap on GPU driver, then click fetch. The emulator will automatically recommend a driver based on your device. For example, mine suggested Mr. Purple Turn so I downloaded the latest version of that driver. It's simple. Just search the name online, download, and apply it. All right, now for the highlight of this update, multiplayer. Eden now supports full multiplayer connectivity with three awesome options. First, there's browse public rooms. You can search for active game rooms and join matches from players around the world. Second, there's join room. Perfect if your friend gives you a code. And third, create room lets you host your own game session. I'll be doing a full video on creating rooms soon, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Now let's test things out. I'm launching Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which supports both single player and multiplayer. For now, I'll just try single player. The game is running beautifully between 40 and 60 FPS and gameplay feels very smooth. Just keep in mind, performance hasn't changed from the last version. This update is all about new features, especially multiplayer and UI improvements rather than raw speed. And that's it for today's video. Eden V3's latest build might just be a temporary backup, but it brings some of the most exciting feature additions we've seen so far, especially for online players. Play. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the bell icon so you don't miss my upcoming tutorial on multiplayer room creation. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.